Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and I'm here to let you know FabFilter just updated almost all of their plugins, including a big update for Pro-Q3. The biggest element to this is you can now have an external sidechain trigger to trigger the dynamic EQ nodes inside of the Pro-Q3, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. It's all coming up, so let's get into it. All right, so as I just said, a lot of the devices inside of FabFilter's suite of plugins got updated, improvements, bug fixes, and stuff like that, but Pro-Q3 is kind of where the focus has been because you can now do external sidechain triggering to trigger the dynamic EQ nodes inside of the Pro-Q3, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I was looking for this when it first came out, and I'm really excited it didn't take too long to implement it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that inside of Ableton Live here, but if you have a different DAW, I'm gonna leave descriptions on how to do it inside of most of the popular DAWs in the video description. So go ahead down there and check it out if you don't use live. But the process is gonna be about the same, so let's just jump into it. All right, so here I am inside of Ableton Live and I've got some drums and some bass. And what I wanna do now is I want to attenuate the bass when the kick happens to give the kick room to breathe and really stand out in the mix. This is very standard stuff here, but using a dynamic EQ is a lot more precise and a lot more surgical than using sidechain compression where you compress the entire signal. So what we're gonna do here is add a return track in Ableton Live. And from the audio out, I wanna go into the bass track where the Pro-Q3 is. And then the second drop down menu here says track in. I wanna go ahead, click that and select the Pro-Q3. So now this return tracks audio is gonna get pumped into the Pro-Q3. So what I wanna do is send my drums 100% into that return track using the send knob here. Boom, and now if I open up the Pro-Q3 and play the audio, I should see both spectrums inside of the Spectrum Analyzer, and I do, perfect. So let's add an EQ node. Double click anywhere in the spectrum to add the EQ node, and boom, we're cooking with power. So using the two spectrums overlapping, I can actually see where the kick is happening, and that's the part I wanna carve out of the bass. So I'm gonna drag it down towards where that kick is, and just pull down a little bit. I'm not gonna get too precise right now, because I'm gonna wait until the dynamic EQ kicks in. So to trigger the dynamic EQ in Pro-Q3, you see the gain knob here in the middle. There's a ring on the outer side. And if you click and drag up and to the right, you're gonna get expansion. But what we want is attenuation. So what I'm gonna do is click and drag to the left or down to enable that. And the further I drive it down, the further we're gonna get attenuation and we're gonna get bigger spaces carved out of that base. So right now, you'll notice it's not getting triggered by those drums. And that's not what we're looking for. So this is where to find this new feature. You're gonna go ahead and just click this button on top of where the gain knob is. It says auto. And the reason why it says auto before we jump in is because Pro-Q3 automatically adjusts the threshold for you on these dynamic EQs. So we're gonna click that auto button, we're gonna see the threshold slider, and then we're gonna see the brand new button. And as soon as I click this, we're gonna see the dynamic EQ start getting triggered by the drums. Boom. So now that that's done, all we need to do is really dial in our parameters and get the effect we're looking for. We can adjust the threshold here, we can adjust the Q value, we can adjust the gain, we can adjust the filter type. We have all of the options from the Pro-Q3 available to us now with this external sidechain triggering. And it's absolutely blowing my mind. There are a ton of applications for this and hopefully I'll be able to do a few more for you in the weeks coming up. But for now, go ahead and get into it. If you don't have the Pro-Q3 yet, links in the video description. It's available already on Plugin Boutique. I'm Joshua Casper and I'll see you in the next video.